What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Danny Vega, a.k.a. Danny V, and I'm back with my crew. I know in some of my titles in my recent videos with my crew called the Geekly Discussion, you guys are probably like, what the hell is that? And I'm telling you, the Geekly Discussion is our weekly discussion talking about geekdom. That's why together it's called the Geekly Discussion. It's my new segment. I may do an intro video to that since you guys are like, what is this? But this week's theme is Godzilla versus Kong. Man, I'm so excited to talk to my boys about this, especially because I know some of them have, and I personally have seen it in the theater. That's right. We saw it big screen. Woo! I saw it in the IMAX. Man, I forgot how loud movie theaters were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm man, once that man. audio played, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> All right, so everyone, as always, introduce yourself, promote what you would like to promote. Uh, yeah, go ahead. What's going on, people? My name is Marcus McGill. Uh, just a producer, getting his foot in the door. Check out Terrifier 2 later this year. Stream as well. Hey, it's Dave Partani with Women of Horror. We're getting ready to rebrand, so... Get ready to check out some news will be coming down from that. Uh, maybe Danny will throw us a mention once we rebrand. What's going on, guys? It's Owen. Uh, nothing to promote right now, but um, in the future, possibly, yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, guys, if you are into anything <clears throat> that's geeked on, whether it's horror, whether it's movies or anything else you guys got to check these guys stuff out man it's like absolute fire so yeah guys i need to hear overall impressions of godzilla versus Kong. what is your overall impression i think i got everything i wanted so i didn't get too much people in the movie i got my fight scenes that were really good i left happy Bueller. Bye, Marcus. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be the Debbie Downer of the group. I honestly did not like the movie. But I will say uh, uh, it seems well okay, but I'll digress a little. <laughs> you see how Marcus cut out a right bit, on. ladies and gentlemen? That's because yep. he was a Debbie Downer. The, the old <laughs> internet booed this man. They're like, boo, cut off his audio. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I um I, I was good. I, I didn't really. I don't have any complaints. I pretty much like what my dad said. I expected nothing more. And I expected nothing less. I thought it was right where it was supposed to be. Yeah. So I mentioned in my review, which will be up shortly. I mentioned that I had higher expectations because of uh, King of the Monsters. So how I felt was, is that we kind of regressed a little bit. I don't think it's a lot of it, you know, to the point that I'm like, ah, oh, this movie sucks. But I think we regressed a little bit. And what I mean is, is that if you're going to have the human aspect in the movies itself, then it should play an overall part to bring along the story. I feel like we did that in mm -hmm. Godzilla King of the Monsters. I felt like Godzilla 1 was very slow. Um, to build up the universe, which is absolutely fine to me. Um, I'm an old school Godzilla fan, like some of you guys are. I see Dave's, you know, his old school Godzilla um, action figure there. And I got my Godzilla shirt right here. Um, and it's, for me, some of the Godzilla episodes, Godzilla didn't come until the end, you know? And so I was okay. I was okay with that in the first movie. And then I felt like, the second movie, which was uh, in the whole franchise, which is Kong and Skull Island, I felt, okay, we're getting a little better with the human aspect. You know, they have to travel to see Kong. They're a little more into it. We see a lot more monsters like we wanted, a lot more kaiju. And then you got action pack. Now, when we get to King of the Monsters, 
a lot of kaiju fights. A lot. They're, they are the main theme in the movie is what we all want. And the human element wasn't just some BS dialogue between the humans. It was more of, okay, this is what's happening. It was a side story that played a part to the main story, yeah. which I felt it was all connected. And so for me, I felt in this movie, it kind of regressed into the, oh, let's just have BS dialogue because, you know, the humans are not really doing anything, you know? It made um, absolutely even, no sense in this room. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I agree with you. And and the reason being is like when they when they journey into the hollow earth, when they journey into hollow earth, that's mm -hmm. like the only importance the humans really had in this movie. That's it, you know? And, and they were there for two seconds, all that time yeah. build up for hollow earth. And they were there for two seconds. So I don't know. I don't know. That's how I felt overall. Like I said, I, I did like it. If I had to rank them, it would be King of the monsters. It would be this one. Uh, Skull Island, and then it'd be the first Godzilla. See, man, I, I'm on the opposite here. So I looked at all the human parts in this movie, like the Ring Girl in boxing. It's like, all right, walk around, you look like good. Get out of the way. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're seeing like Tyson versus Ali here, so I don't need to have time for anything. In between that stuff. He's like, no humans. <laughs> like for me, uh, for me. I like, I kind of enjoyed the whole Kong little girl dynamic. That was cool. Everybody else, I was like, I could give two shits about. Like, the dialogue was so bad. And the, the sad part about it, these are talented actors and other projects that I enjoy just to see them get downgraded to some stupid, you know, writing. Um, so that kind of, like, you know, ruined it for me. The fights were great, but the CG was still kind of you know, off for me. Uh, I kind of didn't like the design of Mechagodzilla at all. I felt they could have did it a little bit better. Agreed. You know, especially the way we saw him in Ready Player One. How he exactly. looked absolutely amazing. <laughs> but exactly. it's a prototype, guys. Prototype. You got to keep that in mind. Right? Correct. But he was supposed to still be more. How can I? Menacing. Like, uh, well, not, yeah, menacing than, than Godzilla, and he wasn't. <laughs> but to be fair, I'm going to agree with David on this one a little bit. I agree with you, Marcus. Don't get me wrong, but I agree with David a little bit. To be fair, the first Mechagodzilla wasn't that great looking. Yeah, that's then true. the second that's one true. was a little more improved yeah. because they improved Mechagodzilla because that was Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla 2. And then in yeah. the 2002 or 2003 one, Mechagodzilla looked even better, you know, yeah. And then in obviously Ready Player One, he looked, you know, even more. But to I, I agree with you to an extent. Yes. Should he have been looking more menacing to me? Yes, I do. But I do agree with David that we could get a better Mecha Godzilla, like the enhanced version in future films. And to me, that can lead to Mecha Ghidorah. Mecha King Ghidorah. And by the way, hold up now. Speaking of which, we need to stop. I'm telling you right now, we need to stop disgracing these names, man. It's King Kong, King Ghidorah. <laughs> Where's my titles, man? I'm tired of holding <laughs> Oh, it's just Ghidorah. Oh, it's just Kong. You better put King in front of that. Like, come on, man. Uh, Amen. Yeah. But uh, I, I mean, uh, like for me, if I had to rank them, I'm a little bit different than you guys. I will put Skull Island first for me, personally. Uh, then King of the Monsters, and then uh, this film, Godzilla vs Kong, and then Godzilla 2014 at the bottom. But because uh, to me, Skull Island and King of the uh, Monsters kind of go hand in hand as far as like the acting with the human element, and then the monsters as well. Uh, and plus, I was a huge fan of the Peter Jackson King Kong film. So I kind of like what they did with Skull Island, where it was kind of like an homage to that film, in a sense. We're bringing in, uh, I mean, the way it was shot, you know, with the cinematography and, and the human element. So, yeah, Skull Island is number one for me. I, I didn't um, see King of the Monsters. Uh, I, I got to say, I agree with Marcus, though. I did. Th I loved Skull Island. I, I did like Skull Island a lot. Um, but I also, like Marcus said, I think... 
um, with uh, uh, Michael Godzilla, he definitely could have looked more menacing. Uh, one sec, hold on, sorry. Batteries went low. Um, I also think that um, some of the conversations in the movie definitely shouldn't have been there. I feel like some of the, com- the conversations were just useless. It, it just it doesn't feel right. I feel like some of the conversations were just useless. They didn't need to be in the movie. Well, you know what? Uh, Owen didn't see King of the Monsters, so where's the eject button out of the group? <laughs> I think when his battery dies, that was a sign. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> yeah, especially uh, with uh, uh, King of the Monsters, how like important they made Millie Bobby Brown's character in that, just to make her a throwaway character. In this well, she, she served a part, you know. She and the crew <laughs> revealed Mecha Godzilla, you know. Oh, come on, bro. I agree with Marcus. They, that was such a they throwaway. They revealed that. This mecha was like half ready. But besides that, how are you gonna throw away that incredible post credit scene for Ghidorah? I mm-hmm. honestly thought with this whole thing with Mecha Godzilla, I'm like, dude, they have the head. Mecha King Ghidorah is coming. And yep. just to use it to telepathically connect to Mecha Godzilla, dude, that killed me. Because I know I know in the original you had the first iteration of Mechagodzilla was from the aliens. Mm -hmm. And then they rebuilt him. Cool. And then you had the iteration of when Japan built Mechagodzilla to be the defender um, against Godzilla. And then after that, you know, you you have all these things. And so for me, I'm like, okay, cool. You you have a connection somewhat, but they never really had a, uh, how do you say it? Um, the cerebral, you know what I mean? They just controlled him, you know, that. So to me, I'm like, you could have just had him easily controlled and he would have obviously, like in the original, gone off by itself. Cool. Why do we need to throw away King Ghidorah? Mm-hmm. That, that, I, I had, that upset me so much. And then well, plus I'm, I was going to say, in that third version where Mechagodzilla came out in the Toho series, Remember, they used the bones from the original Godzilla that attacked Tokyo in the 50s. And yeah. that's what made the, the, uh, that mecha malfunction. So they, it was almost like a nod to that series, I thought. Yeah, yeah it was. Especially when I he would like, gain and control himself. But like Danny said, I kind of hate it when he did, when it, I keep saying he, uh, when it did uh, gain, you know, self-control. They just threw Ghidorah away. You know what I mean? Like, they got rid of the whole telepathic connection, which was stupid. But then just to throw away Ghidorah and not use him, like, it was just, it was silly to me. I agree with you, David. It could have been a great homage. It really could have. But then you should have had something nod to instead of, like, um, they could have easily went instead of Ghidorah. They could have easily went with that piece that Kong had in the axe and used that for mm. Godzilla. And then all of a sudden, it's a piece of Godzilla species. We don't know which one. And yeah. he would have lost control. It's the uh-huh. original Godzilla. You know what I mean? That would have been, been a better homage to me. Yeah. You know, that, that would have been a better homage because now you have an original piece of whatever Godzilla species was there. And there you go. I had a huge, like, I'm a huge Godzilla fan, obviously. I love the fact that Godzilla won and we actually got a winner instead of, like, yes. the original. Because you really don't know what happens. They both fall into the water. Godzilla disappears. And then you see, you see Kong swimming away. And mm-hmm. that was it. But in this one, we actually had a winner. The only challenge I had with it, though, to be honest, was that I felt two things. Um, one... In this series specifically, not in Godzilla history, but in this series specifically, they made Godzilla had to charge his atomic breath, his atomic blast. But in the original, you know what I mean? He could use it faster. In this one, they put such emphasis of him charging it up. But then in this movie, he just spammed it. Like if he had super special the entire time, he could just just use it over and over again. Yeah. (laughs) I felt it was I like I was just you... mashing a button on the controller. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys ever played Destiny or Destiny Two. So I played it. Yeah. Uh-uh. Okay, so there's there's a sp- 
special on uh, one of the subclasses, right? For um, what's called a warlock, they use magic or whatnot. Yeah. And the electric, uh, the electric special, one of them, you can shoot a blast like that. But yeah. if you stop your special, you still have special in the bar. It doesn't go yeah. all the way down. Does that make sense? So then you yeah, can no, use yeah, faster no, I, the next I time. Where you come from. I played both. Yeah. So I felt that's how that was in this movie. It was kind of like, wait, how the hell is Godzilla shooting that? non-stop without charging it when in the last two movies you made it very clear that he had to charge it mm -hmm. <laughs> to shoot it and so for it me also shooting out. dude just <laughs> bang 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 and i'm like <laughs> but again this goes to what i said before to many kong uh you know fans i was like dude godzilla superman and kong is batman like if godzilla really wanted to He'd be dead. Godzilla yeah. has superpowers. Kong doesn't have superpowers. Yep. I okay. So when I when I the the, the fight scene in the city, when at the very last moment when Godzilla pretty much stomped like he's like get the fuck out of here and he, he pushed him to the ground, and Kong tried to get up but he was so weak and he's practically dying. I feel like, in my opinion, it was almost like a mutual respect. Like Kong like bows to no one, but he I think he realized that Godzilla is no one to mess with. I feel like. He knew Godzilla was more powerful, and he he was just too weak to do anything. So I, I feel like he just like, all right, I'm gonna accept that I lost, and that was it. Kong bowed. He dropped that axe at the end of the movie. He bowed. He's like, he saw Godzilla stand. He's like, oh, I'm just dropping this axe. I'm good. We're good. I'm gonna go this way. You can go That's that what way. I mean. I feel like there's a mutual respect. There. I feel like Kong did bow. He definitely he knew he lost. I don't know, man. I think it more is because the little girl said that Godzilla wasn't the enemy. Yeah. And that was after the fight scene, though. No, that was before. That was before? No, that was before. That okay, was before my bad. When Kong first got up before they, they fought Mechagodzilla together. Oh, I thought, so when she, it, I thought it was when he, she got the power source to recharge his heart. I thought that's what yes. I, I Yes, but what I'm, we're saying is it's before they fought Mecha. So what happened okay. was when he when he woke up, he was about to just free for all fight and that little girl told him hey godzilla's not the enemy mecca mm -hmm. is and then he didn't like that but he sucked up his pride as you saw helped godzilla fight mecca because yeah. dude was that an ass whooping or was that an ass whooping he was <laughs> yeah. as, uh, godzilla he was huge dude Mecha Godzilla looked like an MMA fighter, dude. Like he was throwing flying knees and elbows and all this shit. I was like, "What <laughs> yeah. in the hell?" I was like, "I was Yo. like, it turned into a Transformers movie for a second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dude, the way he was I, moving. I, I thought, yeah, man, I thought he was like a Pokemon. <laughs> Like, yo, he was charging up Mega Punch and Hyper Beam, and he had a bunch of missiles. I was like, Jesus yep. Christ. It's classic versus battle. You remember Freddy versus Jason? Freddy all of a sudden became throwing kicks and doing stuff, too. Dude, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> Robert you know, Ingram ain't becoming a samurai. That was I mean, uh, Kung Fu fighter. Like, yeah. <laughs> that was Mecha Freddy you saw. All I'm going to say is, God damn you, David. Now I can't unsee it. <laughs> yeah. Now all I see is Robert England jumping up doing the Mu Muay Thai knees. <laughs> yeah, God damn it, Dave. Damn it. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> all man, they gotta do just, is put uh, in animation. I I, I kind of didn't like the way like okay when it was that mutual respect, you know, after they defeated Mecha Gaza, I wanted something more where it was like I don't know, just something a nod to the past or a nod to, you know, them acknowledging, you know, uh, what they've accomplished or something like that, e whether or not it's just to give a hint for another movie or something, you know. It was just like I they agree. looked at each other and just... <laughs> you know? Well, that was, that was a good homage that he swam away. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like that was fine. Original. But I mean, I mean, that moment when they were looking at each other. Well, God, yeah. well, Kong dropping the axe for me was that. It's just like, you know what? Oh, I'm not going to fight you. This is our mutual respect. And Godzilla yelling at, you know, obviously roaring and just walking away as well. It's kind of like, okay, we're done here. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, yeah, like we're, we're good. So I do agree with Owen on that. It's kind of like, we're good. You know what I mean? Just be, it's almost like a Vegeta and Goku. Stay out of my way. You know what I mean? Yep. yep. It's like okay. that. It's just like, we're, <laughs> we're not friends. 
we're good. You do your thing, but, I'll do mine. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I think. So. Okay. So my trouble with Kong, though, there was a few things. You made him super smart in the movie. He can speak, basically sign language. He can make weapons automatically off the bat. In the beginning of the movie, he goes like that to the tree, makes That's it sharp true. to break a yeah. dome. He did that in Skull Island, though. And, yeah, and he did it in Skull Island. You, yeah. you see him use all these things. And in Skull Island, I felt he was smarter, like yeah. fight style-wise. Yeah. He was yeah. smarter fighting in Skull <clears throat> Island than he was in this movie. Yeah. In this movie, he didn't he even like try to out. Yeah, he didn't even try to outsmart <laughs> Godzilla. He wasn't on his turf, so it's gonna change some things. I, I feel like I remember remember the one scene. The one scene that kind of looked like he outsmarted Godzilla was when he threw. There was the it was the I can't remember what the hell it was. He threw it at the building and it it, it distracted Godzilla, and that's when Godzilla uh, Kong jumped on Godzilla and attacked him to the ground. That's smart of him in that scene. Once. Are you talking about when he was like on top movie. of the building? <laughs> yes, that's what yeah, he was on top of the building. And yeah, the, yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I did like that part. I, I like that too. That was cool. <laughs> once. Yeah, the entire <laughs> it was a one off. Uh, it was a one off. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just a bitch anyway. So I'm a Godzilla fan. Kong's always been a bitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm with I you. Kinda I kind of wish they like, would have brought characters back from the previous films too. I think that would have made it better. Too. If they would have brought like uh, folks from Skull Island, you know, like Brie Larson and uh, Loki, I can't hit us. All right, the, he said uh, Brie Larson. Tom Hiddleston. Eject Marcus, right? No, but it would have made it would have made sense though. You're right. <laughs> you're right. But I would rather have. I think what was a real waste of the characters is that in the opening credit scene, you see that it said Godzilla defeated all the other kaiju. And that was it. I was like, wait, what? I was like, yo. Yeah. All we of didn't them see bowed it. down. Yeah, they <laughs> all bowed down to Godzilla in the last movie. Yeah. How the hell are none of them here? Like, I felt like that was a big BS move for me. We should have saw yeah. more kaiju fights. We should have seen yeah. a lot more <clears throat> buildup. And then I do, though, however, I do like the homage to when Godzilla first fought Mechagodzilla with King Caesar. Because remember, it took King Caesar and Godzilla to fight Mechagodzilla. So the fact mm -hmm. that Kong and Godzilla fighting Mechagodzilla was dope. It, it, a lot of people had a problem with that. They're like, oh, it's like the Justice League. It's like that Martha scene. I'm like, obviously, <laughs> you've never seen Godzilla in your entire life. Right. Like, seriously. <laughs> right. Uh, I thought we saw a little hint at Anguirus in uh, Center Earth. I don't know if you guys caught it. So, you know, there's those creatures there, and this one creature came out and just snatched another one. It's like, oh. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I thought they could have threw a couple of kaijus down there. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I as felt well. like also in, when they were in Hollow Earth uh, and Kong was like, you know, venturing around, it would have been cool to have a, a, when he was started to see like the hieroglyphics and everything and found the axe. I think that would have been a perfect moment to kind of, if I was like the director, a flashback scene to that time period when all the kaiju were there, you know? Even if it was just like a quick minute of a fight or something in the past or something, or just to show, you know, a, 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 a wide view of Hollow Earth and all the kaiju just walking around or something like that, like Jurassic Park or something. I think that like would be cool. Like a premonition, huh? Yeah, yeah. that would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah, like a premonition. I think that that's that's really interesting you say that. That would have been really dope. I just, the whole emphasis on the hollow earth just for him to get the axe was stupid. Mm -hmm. Because to me, to me, you could have done that in a totally different way. And then on top of that, this is supposed to be his home world. That was his throne. They had a Kong statue in the back, you know, and I thought that was a great homage to Universal Studios because in the King Kong ride, they had that statue actually in the mummy ride because the mummy ride is where King Kong used to be. And they have that exact same statue of Kong. So I was like, oh, cool. That's a great homage. But he was there on his throne for two seconds before Godzilla destroyed it. Are you, are you for real? Like, this is his home. 
He's right. been searching for this place. He's been searching for where he comes from, basically. And like you said, Marcus, there's nothing to show for it. There's nothing to show that one that is his home except for the handprint and the get yeah. damn axe. It's like, dude, there should have been more kaiju. There should have been like a flashback or something. And um, yeah, I, I personally felt if you're going to give Kong the axe, you should have made him smarter like in Skull Island. I agree with you, Dave, that turf does change things. <clears throat> but you could have had him fight Godzilla like an in-between fight. Like a, like round two shouldn't have – round two and three should not have been in, in China, in Hong Kong. Round two should have been somewhere else like on a middle ground. And mm. at that moment, have Kong have an advantage, break one of Godzilla's, you know, spikes off his back, and then use that as the weapon. That would have been fucking dope. Because then, mm -hmm. you know, I believe it would have it wouldn't have been so one sided. Even though me and Dave do like Godzilla whooping Kong's ass a lot, <laughs> I feel I feel for movie purposes, not just fan purposes. For movie purposes, I feel like it would have been better if the fight would have been closer, you know, and have Godzilla do either you know turn into fire Godzilla, you know, and do the nuclear pulse or something. You know what I mean? Either if not on Kong because he didn't really want to kill him probably on Mecca, you know, mm -hmm. something. I just feel like it. we could have had a uh, more intense fight. That's just me. And again, I loved it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not shitting on it whatsoever. I loved it, but I feel like there was so much potential here that wasn't tapped into, if that makes sense. It, it would have been cool if they referenced Burning Godzilla. Mm. Like, I was hoping when he was using his uh, atomic breath to go into hollow earth, I thought they were going to take the fight there for a second. That would have been cool if we would have seen Godzilla jump down into hollow earth. That's what the fight you know, would have been on Kong's ground, yeah. That, that would have been cool, and then they could have gone, gone back to Hong Kong or whatever, you know what I mean? But I, I, I felt that was like an opportune moment. Like I, I just knew Godzilla was about to drop down. And I was like, shit, okay, they didn't do it. <laughs> like, all the things they could have added during this movie, they could have made this l l movie longer than only an hour and 53 minutes. I feel like it could have been way longer with them adding more detail or just referencing other things and just just making it longer than it actually was. They could have added so much more. Yeah, I think it was the uh, studio that messed things up. I think they got involved and didn't know if it was going to be – anything so that's what happened with it yeah i agree with, with all you, the Dave. delays and stuff too yeah uh -huh. i agree yeah. because now everyone wants to do this and I, and I don't i don't like this at all guys like i don't like the success of the snyder cut right now um is making everyone think that they can release their director's cut um, i don't like that either i don't i don't like that and the reason no, why i, I don't, don't like that the reason why i don't like that not every director's vision is great Exactly. Yep. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like, not every director's vision is great. And don't get me wrong, everyone wants their stuff to be seen cool and everything else. But now I feel it's, how do you say it? <laughs> I always use this reference and David knows. I feel Zack Snyder's, and this is going to tie into Godzilla real quick because of what I saw. Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League is the death of Superman. Like this is this is the cash grab. Everyone saw the opportunity, just like how the death mm -hmm. of Superman showed that you could bring back a superhero not dying. Mm -hmm. Zack Snyder's Justice League did that very same thing because now everyone's yeah. talking about release the director's cut, and that's what happened <laughs> with Kong and Skull Island. Already, the director announced we could have a five-hour Kong versus Godzilla release. It's like no <laughs> one wants to fucking see your shitty ass humans talk for fucking <laughs> four hours to have one hour fight between Godzilla and Kong. Like no one mm -hmm. wants that yep. whatsoever. So yeah, that's just how I feel about it. I mean, I agree with you, Dave. I, I, I don't like that um, studios go ahead and intervene. Like I said, that's why Andrew Garfield got fired. He called them out when everyone was like, Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man 2 doesn't make sense. He's like, well, it did, but now mm -hmm. it doesn't. And then here's why. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's Sony screwing up Spider Man like they did with Spider Man Three. But well, that's a different like topic <laughs> for a different day. Yeah, yeah Spider Man Three was shit. Yeah, but yeah, no, I I agree, man. It's just studios. Studios need to get their hands out, and they 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 definitely 
screwed with the you know Godzilla versus Kong. And I get it. You have a you have a budget. You have a time limit because technically, from what I was reading, technically King of the Monsters was a flop. Yeah. Yeah. In their eyes, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's because it didn't make um, as much money as the budget was, but. For us fans, our hus our hu- uh, I can't even speak. Great fun. <laughs> For us hardcore fans, it was absolutely fantastic. For us yep. hardcore fans, it was amazing, and this is exactly what we wanted. But the companies are like, well, it costs too much money to give you what you want because mm-hmm. we ain't making any money back. Yeah. So. so what I don't do you know, what you guys? Oh, that's oh, what sorry, I was going to Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> So what do you think this is going to set up for next steps? The way it ended, I don't know. Like, I, I just honestly feel like now they're just going to make another movie and just slap their names on it. You know what I mean? But it's not going to follow. Huh? I said I agree with you. Oh, yeah. It's not going to follow. Like, the story isn't going to be continued. Yep. You know what I mean? It's not going to have any continuity. And then they might, like, reference something. You know, like they're gonna make something else, something, but that's it. This is gonna, they're gonna make something else is gonna be complete shit. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So me and David, we were talking about this. So does anyone think that that crossover with Pacific Rim is actually gonna happen? I don't think so. Mm. No. Because nah. they were talking about it. Remember? They were. I do remember that exactly. Yeah, I don't know since I've heard about it, but yeah, you just brought it up. I remember. If Upright was the second one, Uprising, right? Yeah, yeah, that one yeah. Was yeah, horrendous. Yep, yeah. yeah that's if that one that was, was terrible, good, if that was actually a good film, then yes. But because it was crap, it's not going. <laughs> <happen. laughs> <laughs> that movie was absolute shit. Like it was, <laughs> and I like John Boyega, but that movie was terrible. Man. Yeah, was like, it was, oh it was bad. Like, it was bad. <laughs> And trash, the fact that trash the first one begin was to so good. Like the first one was so good. Oh, it I love the like, first. It came out of nowhere. You know what I mean? I was a fan of Sons of Anarchy, so it was good to see Charlie Hunnam in in a you know future link, like a blockbuster again. You know what I mean? Because I seen him on like smaller indie films and stuff like that. So it's good to see him in the blockbuster. And then you got an amazing cast. And I'm like, how the hell did y'all drop a ball with the sequel? Like, seriously. So, what do you think, David? About next steps? Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, do you think a crossover? Do you do you really think that something else? Do you think they'll try to do they? Do you think they realize that they basically like did away with Ghidorah, King Ghidorah, and uh, gonna make Mecha King Ghidorah come? Or what do you? Think? I don't think they're smart enough to make Mecha. <laughs> I think they're going to try to figure out something, but I don't know what it is. Maybe we get another Kong movie, but where do you go with Godzilla now? Right. I think they did this crossover right. too soon. That's what it is. Yep. Man, I could not agree with you more. They blew their load. <laughs> yep. Kong, Kong and Godzilla should have been way later, mm-hmm. uh, especially because of how many more kaiju we could have seen with Godzilla. There's so many out there. But to say, like I said, the opening scene says that Godzilla destroyed all the other kaiju. I'm like, are we for yeah, real? Man. Like, when it happened. <laughs> like, even though this film was supposed to take place five years later, technically, that's what they said. Uh, still, like, when did all that happen after they bowed down? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's really only three monsters you can bring in, right? So yeah. you, can either, you can bring in Destroyer, right? Mm-hmm. You can bring in Space Godzilla, but if you bring in Space Godzilla, do you bring in Biolante? And then who's going to want to see Biolante in the States, you know, mm-hmm. uh, outside of hardcore fans? That is true. That is true. But they can, they can since Mechagodzilla, since they changed the origin of Mechagodzilla, they can change the origin of uh, Space Godzilla too. What they can do, what they can do, I feel. What they can do the next, it's kind of, kind of almost like a. Uh, how do you say it? Oh, I hate to bring this movie up, but it sucks. All right, so I don't know if you guys ever seen. Uh, bless you. 
I don't know Thank if you. Uh, you guys seen the Bio Broly movie, the third Broly movie in the DVD mm. series. Yeah, yeah. I did okay, see so that one. so Bio Broly was absolute shit. It was mm-hmm. out of the three Broly movies, the original Broly movies, shit. But what they did was they took Broly's DNA and they cloned him. Mm-hmm. And what happened is the cloning process didn't uh, complete all the way. So Bio Broly was born. He looked like this goop. It's weird, weird shit. So anyway, I feel like they could do something like that. It's just like, oh, we got Godzilla's blood. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And mixed it with this alien gene or something, you know, from mm-hmm. space or from hollow earth. Here we go. Alien technology. And then here you go. You got space Godzilla. You know what I mean? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hold up. You're back. There you go. Hey, you hear me? Now. Yeah. Oh. Hold up now. What happened? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, good. Well, I was getting cut out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I feel like with today's audience, uh, who the studios are obviously targeting rather than like true fans. No matter what they do, as long as they slap the name on it and have toys and stuff, it's gonna people are gonna they're gonna watch it. You know what I mean? Uh, but fans like us, it, you know, it's gonna be kind of disappointing to us where they'll go, probably. Well, we do have the one opening in this movie with the the eggs that uh, Millie Bobby Brown found her character. You remember that? So there's a bunch mm-hmm. of the eggs. So maybe that's something that comes up in the future. I don't know. Maybe we get Mecha Kong. <laughs> right. This is something crazy. Yeah. How would uh how would you rank it, Dave? Because you didn't rank the four movies. Um I'm gonna rank this at number one because I can sit down with a beer and some food and watch it any time just to see those fight scenes. And then I'm going Skull <laughs> Island second because Skull Island with the music too. Ah, that was like the Mm -hmm. perfect setup. So good score, good movie. And then King of Monsters and then the uh, first Godzilla. So it's going in the right path. It is going up, right? But it's Mm -hmm. not like we're used to with these uh, major universes like with Marvel, you know, that we're kind of spoiled with now. Don't get me started. (laughs) (laughs) Don't, there we go. Now we're we're good. Don't get me started on the whole Marvel thing. Man, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, you mentioned Mecha Kong, dude. <laughs> if Mecha Kong never existed, Mecha Godzilla would never exist. So maybe that's Kong's next villain. Could be. Well, we we left that in the whole Jurassic Park type of deal. It's like, all right, let's go see Kong for his morning war. <laughs> so now we come with Park now and. <laughs> The fact that you got humans walking around on hollow earth with no <sighs> type of able to breathe like it's our atmosphere. <laughs> right? That just Dude. Like, I'm like, dude, are you serious? Like, seriously. <laughs> like, seriously, that that just yeah. <laughs> the fact, I agree with you, but also the fact that they put the god finger in the movie, I was like, how is this fucking relevant to anything? <laughs> like are you like I? I can see it that it's the creation, like uh, let's say God's first Earth or whatever. You know what I mean? That's where all the kaiju's from. But okay, <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like okay, I feel like yeah. them bre- being able to breathe in hollow earth is a big fucking plot hole. They that's what I, mean. I agree with Marcus. How are they able to breathe in that plant, uh, hollow earth? Dude, it's just yeah, that movie is just. But if you like. Dave and everybody else that enjoyed the movie just want to watch it for the fights. Hey, yep. hey, yeah, yep. that's true. It's like watching. It's like watching John Jones win the belt. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I give him that. But <laughs> everything oh, else just didn't make sense whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, and you another know. thing that probably doesn't make sense in the movie too is they took the after credit scene out and they stuck it somewhere in the movie, and they they won't reveal which was the after credit scene. Are you serious? Mm. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, so they were so afraid that this movie was going to bomb, which is probably why we have the bad characters in it, that 
It's like, no, we're not going to do an end credit scene because we're going to leave it open. So we'll just take that and throw it inside the movie. Mm. Which oh, part, though? Because any direct- scene. Yeah. What scene is going to be like, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because I didn't notice anything. I didn't know. I didn't. Nothing. I'm not. Yeah. I got nothing. I bet you I know what it is. Yeah. I bet you I know what it is. You ready? Was it the <laughs> No, it was just Mecha Godzilla itself. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, yo, we should throw Mecha Godzilla in there. They're like, what? We're setting up for the next movie. No, no, no. Listen, son. You need to throw Mecha Godzilla in there. You bastards. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> yo, I promise you. I promise you. Mecha Godzilla was probably that, that one teaser of showing Mecha Godzilla, you know, killing the, uh, the what is it, the skull creature? Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe that was it. That was the post credit scene. Like, you didn't know what was just being built. And then all of a sudden, you just see, boom. And everyone's like, oh, shit, Mecha Godzilla. Done. Then you have Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. I'm pretty sure. But if it's not, if I'm wrong, then whatever other scene is bullshit. (laughs) I can see that because I'm like, man, like, yeah, they could have saved Mecha Godzilla for another film. Absolutely. Yeah, they definitely could. Yep. And because also, we saw Mecha Godzilla for two seconds, by the way, and he didn't display all of his powers. Like, I love the fact that he had way more missiles in this one than the original Mecha Godzilla. I was like, holy shit. When I Dude, saw all those he missiles. Had a fucking barrage. <laughs> Dude, the missiles that came out of his neck is shooting Godzilla. I was like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> and then it went like he was shooting far away until he was like right up on him and just blasting. <laughs> Kong has his arm. He's like, joke's on you. I got missiles right here. Pop, pop, pop. Like, <laughs> the only yeah. thing, though. I should have saved it for another film. Man. I, I I agree, but I I'm a little salty on something. I get why you're doing the red for his basically hyper beam, omega beam, whatever the fuck you want to call it, his atomic breath, mm-hmm. because it's opposite of blue for Godzilla. But dude, if we had the rainbow beams like in the original, come on, bro, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> He, this bitch should have been shooting lightning out of his chest, like in the original, bro. Like, where's the force field? Where's the force mm-hmm. field, man? I wanted to see that force field. Godzilla doing a mega breath, and it was like force field. Oh shit, that ain't working. Mm, mm, yeah. <laughs> it's so much they could have done with this franchise, man. Now it's like, okay, like you said earlier, what are they gonna do? Yeah, it's like it's they, they, done, they done gave us everything it. already. Like, yeah, they blew it. <laughs> No, okay. But I agree with David. I think that was the safe bet. That was the safest bet, man. You just close it off. You don't leave it open. And then if it does well, you go ahead and continue. If it doesn't, you ax the series. You know what yeah. I mean? And then guess what's going to happen? You're going to have another reboot. Yep. Let's yep. just face probably it. Probably like five years. <laughs> yep. Uh, you, won't have another, you won't have another reboot. You'll have Toho come out and it's like, all right, we're going to one-up you now. Okay, so... Dave, I know you're going to kill me when I say this. You're going to eject the own host from his show. I still haven't seen Shin Godzilla yet. It's good. It's good. It's a different take on it. Yeah, is it? it? Is. Yeah. yeah. There is too much people on this one. Like, there's a silly. Yeah, there's a yeah, scene. Yeah, it's like a romance. It's the Caribbean. <laughs> When they're having that meeting in the middle of the movie with his father, and it's like, oh, oh my god, it's like twenty minutes of talking, and it's the same thing in Shin Godzilla in the middle of it, but it's okay. Okay, all right. Because when I, I saw the different the forms, moment. like when I saw the different forms be released, I was like, yo, Godzilla is evolving. Like what? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I thought that was cool. But damn. So all right, y'all gonna eject me for this one. Oh, I, I got what my finger on the button. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm putting my <laughs> finger on the button. The 1998 Matthew Broderick film. What? I'll eject right now. That's it. <laughs> you, you, are, you are. Stop video. That's it, Marcus. You are gone. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, put, put, your video, put your video back on. I'm sorry, Martin. Here you go. Put your video back on. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 
No, Shit, man. I don't know what to say about the 98 film. <laughs> you know was, what's I so funny? <laughs> As a kid, because again, I... I I grew up watching is because my grand my grandfather used to have all the old shit, you know what I mean? So like I grew up watching the old Godzilla and then so when Master Projects came up, I'm still a kid and I watched it and I was absolutely in love with it. And then as I got older and I rewatched it, I was like, What the hell did they do? What the hell is this movie? <laughs> Terrible yeah. movie, but I actually liked the carnage in it though. Until it got to the baby, you know, oh, to the little baby that's one. Yeah, that 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 just ruined it for me. But the uh, I actually enjoyed all the carnage with it, you know, with the creature, with Godzilla. That was the only good thing about the movie. And you know how Toho treated him in Final Wars? Five <laughs> seconds, he was done. Godzilla <laughs> was done in five seconds. I hope yeah. I'm not the hope not the only one that loved Godzilla Final Wars. That was I love that movie. <laughs> You're, you're, definitely no, not, you're, you're definitely not the only one. <laughs> Dang, all right. All right, Danny. <laughs> I didn't say me. Slow your roll, man. I'm just saying you're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Like, I wouldn't mind if uh, now that with HBO Max picking up the steam that it's uh, getting. Uh, if it did get like rebooted into like a series or something on HBO Max, as you long know? as they do it right, though, as long as they do it like the original Godzilla films, like mm-hmm. you have a story that progresses, you have different kaiju's come in. Yeah, I would love, I would love, like, I think the only way we go from here, honestly, like I said, if, if we bring Space Godzilla, uh, uh, somehow get more kaiju's. But you can do the whole um well which one was it, Dave, that uh Godzilla when he put his essence into Junior when he died, remember, and then Junior became the new Godzilla? Uh I think that's the one where he's going up against destroyer. Mm-hmm. So we can do that, man. We can have that. And that that would be incredible segue to the new one. So you could have Destroyer versus Godzilla. Have that be your final big act right now to end, if you can, end the series. But it also leads the potential to have Junior to be in the next Godzilla. Yeah. And then there we go. You yeah. Know? Unless they, uh, you know, take a little spin off of Final Wars and they uh, bring Gigan back, amped up as the next robot that they create. Okay. And then what are you going to do with Kong? <laughs> you know? Kong is going to have to be out of it, I think. I don't think yeah. we're going to see these two guys back together. Yeah. If they were smart, they would, though. If they were smart, whether it's Destroyer, whether it's King God, uh not King Godzilla, Jesus Christ, Space Godzilla. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, if it's a new Mecha Godzilla, because like I said, he fights him so many times. You know, mm-hmm. if whether it's any of those. If they were smart, they would bring Kong back. That Godzilla can't beat it by himself. And then they have to do it. Like I said, once you set that up, and once you set that Goku, Piccolo, Goku, Vegeta vibe, now it's like, it's you too, man. You know what I mean? It's either both of you guys or one of you going to have to fight to the death for real. You know what I mean? And, and that's just it. That Unfortunately, that's hard for me to say because I love, you know, I love Godzilla. I love the Kaiju, but that's, that should be it. It's kind of like, all right, either it's both of you guys that you guys are just going to live on the same planet and stay away from each other. And whenever there's a bigger threat than one of you guys can't handle, you team up or one of you is going to have to die. Mm -hmm. And by the looks of it, it ain't going to be Godzilla. Bye-bye Kong. Sorry, (laughs) man. I'm not going to be Kong. I love Kong more than Godzilla. Hey, hey, man. Same here. (laughs) How did how did it feel seeing your king get treated like Harambe, huh? <laughs> man, he got, dude. I had a tear, man. I had a tear. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> like, y'all y'all did my boy enough. like this after he just kicked all kind of ass and skull on me. Y'all just did my boy like this? <laughs> superpowers versus no superpowers. <laughs> Superman versus Batman, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he almost got drowned in the first fight. 
I was like, yo, this shit is over already? Like, <laughs> I was like, damn, man. And I get it because it was on Godzilla's turf, so don't get me wrong. But mm. I was like, I was wondering, seriously, once I saw him, like, clinch him like an alligator in the water like that, I was like, how? How is he going to get out of this one? And when they were like, well, isn't it convenient that we have these things that we can shoot in the water? Okay, sorry. All right, I'm going to have to bring this up. I know we're, we're, we're running out of things. We're running out of things to say, but then I keep finding more things. So the convenience in this film, the conveniences, all the conveniences is like, dude, really? Come on. Like, isn't it convenient that we have these things that we could shoot in the water to get Godzilla off of Kong? <laughs> or isn't it convenient that we actually have these ships that we can go into the hollow earth? Or isn't it convenient that this ship is a defibrillator for a kaiju? Like, come on, dude. Oh, isn't it convenient we have a big hole that goes to the center of the earth that can fit Kong in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh if i'm not mistaken that was the expedition hong kong underground like like that <laughs> yeah 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 if i was not mistaken that was the expedition for the guy's brother that they died but that's yeah, the thing but why do you have a hole like that man how big is that his brother <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's funny it's just like how convenient that all these things just lined up yeah. And the fact that, again, the film took place five years after uh, King of the Monsters, there's no way that you could build up <laughs> to have, again, that convenience in five years. <laughs> it's you know, insane. Not happen. <laughs> Isn't it convenient that in the hollow earth, that's where Kong's throne is? Are we fucking yeah. real right now? <laughs> Isn't it convenient that in the throne room is an axe made out of one of Godzilla's species? <laughs> one of the spikes, the dorsal fins on his back. Are we serious right now? Look at all this convenience. If you place the axe right here conveniently in a, a magic <laughs> of Godzilla, like, dude, I was like. How convenient is it that they have the chains and everything on the boat that fit, that fit perfectly around uh, Kong's neck and arms and everything? Yeah. Speaking of speaking yeah. of which, David, how'd you like that homage of when they carried Kong in the air? Oh, that was nice. That was nice. That I liked. That I liked. That, that was sweet. Yeah. I was like, because it's so funny. I haven't watched all these Godzilla and Kong stuff in a long time. You know what I mean? Like a very long time. So I'm like, how did I forget this? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. I was a kid when I saw this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but overall, man, I give the movie like, I mean, personally, like a two out of five, like I said on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Damn. So. Harsh critic. Harsh. <laughs> <laughs> I, if we're uh, going, go ahead. If we're going stars. Yeah, all right. Go ahead. Do that. I love that. Go you ahead. You go last, Danny. Me? I go last. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm going to say I'm going to go three and a half out of five. Great. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to group my dad. Three and a half. I was going to say the same thing. Three and a half. Marcus, you better stamp yours right now. Give it, give it the hard, give it the hard rating. Two out of five. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I do. I, I, as soon as you said it, David, you took the words right out of my mouth. I gave it a three, three point five. Yep. You know what? Just to be a little different from Owen and you, I give it a three point seven five. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> gotta be original, right, Danny? <laughs> gotta, gotta be, man. <laughs> no, like I said, I, I I enjoyed it overall. It was it, it was it was okay. Um, the only human element that I really liked, though, and we can wrap up on this. The only human element that I really liked was how the conspiracy theories panned out. <laughs> because oh, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> my yeah, yeah. friend, one of my friend, I was on his podcast, by the way, shadow band podcast for all of you guys out there. My buddy, Jeff Fernandez is the host on that. And he had me on there. And what's funny about Jeff is that I've known Jeff for a long time. And there's a lot of conspiracy theories that he said that I'm talking about people bashed him for it. And then it end up panning out. And I'm like, yo! <laughs> <laughs> so, so when I saw this, immediately I thought of my boy Jeff. I was just like, yep, that's Hefe right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just That's the only human element that I like. It's just like, oh, there's a conspiracy. Everyone's dubbing him a conspiracy theorist. But yet, it, he was right all along. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Other than that, 
sorry, 11. She should have had some powers in this one because I don't know, man, just bringing her back and throwing away her character was garbage. The kid from Deadpool, his power should have came back too because <laughs> throwing him over. His character just sucked oh in this movie. Oh, my God, yeah, dude. And I just wanted to say the whole time I was yelling, the whole time, say it, say it. Yeah. Like, he was, like he did in Deadpool, just screaming, say it, say it. It was kind of a waste of a fucking character, to be honest. Everybody was, man. Yeah. Or, uh, like you said, the conspiracy theory guy, uh, Brian, whatever his name is. Yeah. And the little girl. Yep. Those are the only two characters that I like. So, so Deadpool's come up again. So, Danny, have you watched Once Upon a Deadpool yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> and eject Danny Vega from his own show. Right. <laughs> Where is it? Where's my video? Stop video. That's it. <laughs> I don't feel bad. I haven't watched it yet either. Oh, oh my uh, goodness. Come on. Thank you. You're my saving grace. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. honestly, honestly, uh, in my review for uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier's coming up today, I explained it a little bit. So you guys that are watching this, I'll explain it again. Um, my my schedule has been hectic, has been really hectic that I can't really sit down in the studio too much right now. Um, I have a test that I'm studying for for my national personal training exam. My job just started back up, so I have to study for that too. And ironically, is the same time my test is. So I'm like, yeah, exactly. It's oof. And then, uh, you know, co-parenting with my girlfriend and stuff like that for her little one and stuff like that. It's just, it's just a lot, man. It's just a lot when you have multiple goals like I do. You yeah. know, I want to do all these videos. I want to do everything. So most of the time it's just, uh, you know, trying to figure this out, trying to be more productive, trying to be more, you know, time management wise. So today's video was actually a vlog style. I was holding my phone, walking around inside Walmart, man, because it's the only time... You know, I had today <laughs> to do that. So, oh, excuse me. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I will. I, one division dropped it before this. Oh, my God, dude. Like, yeah, I was grateful. I was grateful that WandaVision, like, before my job, before anything, I was like, yeah, I got all the time in the world. All of a sudden, once, it's so funny. Once you start making plans, like, yo, I'm going to do this, this, and this, life's like, guess what? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an obstacle bitch <laughs> <laughs> hey i couldn't attest to that man yeah, yeah. It's like, got you by the hey. ball son <laughs> david could tell you me and david could tell you you my bitch now yeah. pretty much all right so any any last uh thoughts real quick i'll just say like you know for the godzilla fan i mean godzilla and Kong fans watch the movie uh form you know your own opinion about it enjoy it not like it whatever but i recommend go ahead check it out um yeah that's it. theater or hbo uh if the theater is open go see it in the theater i still say support the theater uh too bad none of the theaters around me are open so i couldn't experience it you know but yeah. if you got hbo max go for it i guess i'm gonna say uh not guys are literally to dad go watch justice league no. <laughs> David, do yourself that favor. Like you're telling me about Once Upon a Deadpool. Do yourself that favor and do it. <laughs> if I do that, then I can probably still tell you it's crap because I didn't see the one before it. So that one was okay. crap. Listen, that one was crap, but I promise you, <laughs> David, listen, I promise you, we can have this discussion live too, whatever. Yes, please. I promise you, Watch. I hated it. The Joss Whedon version? Terrible. I loved Zack Snyder's version. Absolutely loved it. I'm telling you. Totally different movie. Totally yep. different. I promise you. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> like a little kid when your mom says, maybe. That's a yes. That's a yes to them. All right. So, Dave, do, do, any do. last thoughts? Uh, I have to say the one thing that I saw this weekend with uh, Kong versus Godzilla or Godzilla versus Kong was um, the theater by me lined out the door when I was leaving the theater. Wow. And we have 20 screens, uh, 10 to 15 screens were Kong versus Godzilla. So, and the spacing that we do because of COVID, you have two or three seats between everybody. 
all the seats were filled that they could fill. So it looks like if they saved anything, they may have saved the movie theaters. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to see what's next, but I'm kind of worried now. Uh, that's that's my thoughts on Godzilla movies going forward and King Kong right now. I'm just worried about the future and what the studios will do to butcher it going forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how would you feel about a series if they did that, like Danny and I was talking about? Yeah, I think it's too big for. I think Godzilla is too big for a series. So you know that's what we saw in the seventies and the sixties, where Godzilla really got a little cheesy. You know mm -hmm. when he was doing his little skipping dance that we've seen in the emojis, and you know when he can shoot his breath and fly through the air. So I don't know. I don't know if a series would work. Or how he beats Mecha Godzilla by making himself a magnet. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. See, if you're gonna my final thoughts. I would like to see the nature elements in this more in Kaiju's in the future. Because even as cheesy as that was, Godzilla was using nature to beat Mecha Godzilla. He turned figured it out with the power of nature, how to make himself magnetized. Same thing with Kong versus Godzilla in the original lightning strikes Kong. All of a sudden you find out, well, lightning makes him stronger. You know, I think it's cheesy, but I feel like if you're going to go with Kaiju's in nature, how they were emphasizing how they're the natural order or whatever, I would like to see some stuff play on that. But overall Godzilla versus Kong. Good movie. I saw it in IMAX. Same thing as David. They did the COVID thing very well. They spaced it out. If you guys are afraid of that, trust me, they're doing everything they can. They're sanitizing it. Any Anything with buckets for the popcorn, they do not touch. They just give you brand new buckets for free. When you're refilling the big buckets that they always refill, they don't touch your old buckets. They just give you new buckets in the theater. I wasn't anyway. Um, every time that as soon as we started leaving, they had people in there sanitizing everything. You know, so they're, they're doing a good job in the theater. So if you can do support your local theaters, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, there's no experience. I can personally tell because before I had the thought of, man, is this going to kill the theaters? You know what I mean? Is streaming going to kill the theaters? And I can tell you right now, um, I don't think so at all. And the reason being, there's no experience like, uh, movie theater experience unless you're rich and you have your own movie theater and you have this humongous surround sound <laughs> and this big screen that's the only way other than that I, I honestly truly believe that theaters are not going anywhere as long as you go out and to support them so yep those are my final thoughts on it thank you boys so much as always love having you guys Pretty you guys sure are amazing you know. All right. later, later. we love you be safe. Talk to you soon. Peace. See you guys.